Okay, last question. How long until, from at least an intellectual perspective, we are immortal? So if I died today, my children will not have access to my thoughts and musings any longer. Will there be a point at which during my lifetime, an AI can be trained to be identical to me, at least from a goalpost perspective, to the point where after my death, my children could say, Dad, what should I do about this situation? And it can answer them in a way that I would have. So Peter, uh, that's a great question. And people don't really say great question because they're trying to buy themselves time to answer it. It's a great question because that was an early business plan that was generated shortly after P GPT-4 came out. In fact, um, I was talking to, um, very briefly to Mark Cuban, and he, because he saw GPT-4, I think he uh, got uh, tra uh, trademarks or copyrights on his voice, all his work and likeness so that someone could not create a mark who responded in all the ways he does. And I'll tell you that it sounds crazy, but there's a company called rewind.ai and I have it running right now. And everything that appears on my screen, it's recording. Every sound that it hears, it's recording. And if um, it's doing, if characters appear on the screen, they'll do it'll OCR them. If a voice appears, they'll voice this. And then if I have a question, I say, when did I speak with Peter Antia? Find it for me. It was, I'll say, um, when, who was I talking about? Who was I talking about um, AI and uh, Alzheimer's? And they'll find this video on a timeline. Now, all that data. How many terabytes of data is this, Zach? Amazingly small. It's just gigabytes. No, how, how is that possible? Because A, it compresses it, it compresses it down in real time with using Apple Silicon. And second of all, you and I, you're old, and you don't realize that gigabytes are not big on a standard Mac that has a terabyte. That's a thousand gigabytes. Yeah. And so you can compress uh, audio immensely. And what it's doing is it's actually not taking um, um, video. It's just taking multiple snapshots I every see. time this Okay. Screen changes by a certain amount. Yeah, it's not trying then, to get video resolution per se. No. Yeah. Okay. No. And it's, and it's doing it, and I can see a timeline, and I, it's quite remarkable. And so, that is enough, in my opinion, data, so that with enough uh, conversations like this, someone could create a pretty good approximation of at least public Zach. So then the next question is, is, are, is Zach willing to have Rewind AI on a recording device, his phone with him 24 seven in his private moments, in his intimate moments, when he's arguing with his wife, when he's upset at his kids, when he's having the most amazing experience with his postdoc. Like if you think about the entire range of experiences we have from the good, the bad, the ugly, those are probably necessary if we want to formulate the essence of ourselves. Um, you envision a day in which people can say, look, I'm, I'm willing to take the risks associated with that. And there are clear risks associated with doing that, but I'm willing to take those risks in order to have this legacy, this data set to be turned into a legacy. So I, I think it's actually pretty creepy to, um, to come back from the dead, to, to talk to your children, hmm. but so I actually have other other goals, like being able to, here's where I take it. We are being monitored all the time. We have iPhones, we have Alexa devices. I don't know what is actually being stored by whom and what. And people are gonna use this data in ways that we do or don't know. 
I feel it's us, the little guy, if we have our own copy. And we can say, well, actually, look, this is what I said then. Yeah, that was taken out of context. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was taken out of context. And I can do it. I have an assistant that can just find it and find exactly and find all the time to set it. I think that's that's good. I, I still, I, I don't think it's, I think it's messing with your kid's head to have uh, you come back from the dead uh, and give advice, even though they might be tempted. Technically, I think it's going to be not that difficult. Wow. Um, and just, again, speaking about Rewind AI, again, I have no, I have no stake in them. Um, and I don't think I, I think I might have paid them for a, a license to run on my computer. But it also, the microphone is always on. So when I'm talking to students in, in my office, uh, it's, it's uh, taking that down. So, yeah, I'm sure some people, there are some moments in my life where I, I don't want to be on record, but it's, uh, there are big chunks of my life that are actually being stored this way. Uh, 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 uh.